Right, good afternoon, my lovely people. Jelly plates out. It's the big one. Um, for uh, Rachel's journal of uh, Rachel Roxy Creations um, journal of stitchery, um, we've been asked to do our favourite colour and a bird, which is fine. So um, now my favourite colour is blue. Every every hue of blue that is going in the world, I love it. <laughs> so I'm going to do blue. Now, what I want to try and do is get a cyanotope effect. I have been out in the garden and picked... Hang on, let me just pop those down. Um, pulled up some botanical stuff. Just leaves out of the garden, really. There's not an awful lot happening at the moment. Um, so I'm going to attempt note the word attempt to do some white and blue printing essentially i mean cyanotope itself is especially formulated stuff that reacts to ultraviolet but um we're going to try and fake it <laughs> basically so i've got some old cotton sheet here which i've cut roughly to the right size for the um that was a good guess actually because i didn't have the um plate out when i did that that's a little bit shorter anyway um yeah I don't know, we'll give it a go. <laughs> it can only go wrong. So, um, I've been racking my brains to think how to start. Whether I start with... <sighs> I think I need to... I need to... Oh, do I know? I don't need to colour the fabric first because I want that to be pale anyway because I want the blue on top. Right. Um oh I don't know. Let's just do it. let's just do something. <laughs> so I think if I start with my lightest blue, which is probably this one, which is cobalt blue, put the flowers on and lift that onto the fabric and then go in with one of the darker blues. I don't know. Experiment time, you're with me. Lucky things. I could mix up the blues actually, couldn't I? Uh, what was that? That was. See, that was cobalt blue, but this is cobalt. Coal, cobalt blue as well. It's a lot darker. Let's try a tiny bit of that. Yeah, see, there's quite a difference in that. This could all go very wrong very quickly, but we'll find out. I do not want the blobby bits. So, squeaky roller, of course, brayer rather. It's kind of obligatory. <laughs> right. So out of this big piece, I only need a small piece so I can cherry pick, basically. And that is what my idea was, that I can um, I can cherry pick what size I want. Um, let's do these ones first. I've only got three of each. I don't think I've got enough. Well, we'll just do this. I've not done this before. Just to, Just a disclaimer there, okay? I've not used botanicals to print with before. So this could be a disaster, but we'll find out. So, um, I don't know how to attack this. Let's just put that on there. Okay, and squeege. Unlocked. It's a gloriously sunny day here today. It started out quite horrible actually. My daughter, we went for a walk in the woods with the dogs and that the first thing this morning. And it was, um, well I had a sweatshirt on, it was quite chilly. Um, but this afternoon the sun has come out and it's beautiful. So, washing's on the line, windows are open. <laughs> All of the above. Sorry, I need to give this a really good squishing so bear with me. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't put the fabric medium on. Darn. Okay, it might be all right because it's a fairly light layer. I've got it out. I've got it ready. <laughs> it's um, GAC 900, by the way, if you want it. Um, it keeps the acrylic paint from... Because if you put quite a few layers on, it can get a bit... It crackles um, and sort of flakes off, basically. But we put that stuff in it and um, it usually behaves itself. I think the prints in between are left onto card. Oh, okay. Let me just show you that. It's upside down, but... Okay, all right, all right. Whew. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Note the sigh of relief. Um, I don't know where to put these. Where am I going to put you? Let's put you there. I wonder if I can pick up... What do you think the chances are of laying that back down roughly in the right place? Zero. See if we can get some of the textury bits. I think I've missed completely, but it will give another pattern to the background. <sighs> Fingers crossed. The stress, the stress is building. <sighs> right. Have we fluffed it up? Oh no. Oh look at that. Almost got it dead on. Right. Okay. I'm hoping you can see. Let me just lift it up for you and you can probably see a bit better. Yeah. I almost got it spot on. But that's giving it another Nice bit of depth in the background there. Right, exciting. Now, what I want, what I think I want to do now, is a darker layer. I'm going to use this golden because it's um, semi-translucent. Um, I don't know if you know with golden, so they put a swipe of paint on there, and you can see. So it's got. I can see the three black marks. So it's quite translucent. So. Um, let me pick that up first, I think, because that could be quite a nice print there. Bear with me. I know this has nothing to do with fabric and what have you, but I can't waste paint. It's physically impossible for me. Oh, yuck. some cheapy children's drawing pad just for some big sheets of paper for this very plate so let's see if it does the job Brian where are you there you are right this has got paint on it all up let's just mix it all in it'll be fine Adding my own art from my hair, that's marvellous, well done. I'll just quickly lift this and we'll get on to the next layer because I think it'll work, but yeah, not 100% certain as you can probably tell. Oop. Stay there. Don't do that, I don't recommend you do that. Once it's down, leave it. Oh, stop squeaking. Yeah, I think... I think the top layer with the other leaves on. Translucent blue. I might put some of the um, golden liquid in it then and that'll make it hopefully really really transparent like I say we can always do it again oh, 
Come on. Oh. Yeah, you can't really see the... Well, you kind of can. But it's pulled off all the grunge as well, which is just amazing when it does that. Right, okay, so next layer. <sighs> come on, come on, gel printing gods. You've got to be with me today, please. Um, put a fair drop on, I think. Roughly equal amounts. Mix them together and let's roll it out. That's a lovely blue, that phthalo blue. It's made it very liquidy, but it's okay. We'll probably get some of the texture of the roller on there as well. I'm just basically smushing it at the moment, so just do a light sweep. So this is my fir tree, <laughs> poor thing. Yeah, let's do soldiers. Line them up like little soldiers. Okay. Have to stand up. Trying to carefully drop it down. Right, that's it, it's down. So whatever happens, happens. Giving it a good squish. Not rubbing, just squishing, because it'll move the fabric and then it'll move your print. I hope you've got everything crossed out there. YouTube land. I thought with them being a bit open they might give a really good second print but we'll find out. It's starting to come through now. I don't know if you can see that on screen but the colour itself is start to come through so with any luck we might have something all right what I'm gonna do is carefully just peel it back not actually remove it okay not too bad right, let's get the last layer on Sorry, my arm is probably going to get in the way, but I kind of need to do that. Just gently rubbing, trying to make sure that I don't move the fabric. <sighs> I'm holding my breath-ish. Here we go. You ready? Oh, please work. I'm just going to flip it straight over. Ah, I think that's alright. I'm going to call that quite successful. I think that background colour could have been darker, but I'm getting the effect that I wanted. Cyanotope-ish. Yay! <laughs> like that right okay well I've got two pieces ready I didn't need it but that's um that's what it is right I'm going to grab another bit of paper let's get the rest of that paint lifted off
squeaky roller alert. It still had some of the blue left on it, so. Cat's been in here, isn't she? Oh well. I'll have a little bit of Mackie on here. Mackie's the cat, by the way, if you're new here. Oh, that squeak. Stop squeaking. I'm not too worried about this. It doesn't lift, it doesn't lift. It does. Bonus. For a cheapy kid's drawing pad, it's doing all right this paper. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's picked up the um uh, it's even picked up the the weave of the fabric there. I don't know if you can just see that in there. But that's pretty cool. That's cleaned the plate off beautifully. So there we are. So I've got two lovely prints and a nice piece of fabric to work on. And with that with that stuff in it, it should stay nice and pliable. So I'll heat set that, give it a good press because you have to heat set it. I think it's. Uh, heat press one to two minutes, yeah. So or oh, iron for three to five minutes. If you've got a heat press, that's even better. But yeah, there we are. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me um, lift it up on there, and you can get a proper good look at it then. So you can just see here the faint outlines of the um, conifer. Well, I'm really happy with that. Really happy. Thank you, gel printing gods. <laughs> yeah, next stage, I've got to get my birds. Um, I've got an idea, but I will share that with you on the next video. Bye.